Hello and welcome to MATLAB course. This is Salim. In this video, I'm going to talk about the input function in MATLAB. So suppose you are a programmer and you write a big code and you need to give the permission for user to input some numbers or name. Of course, you can do that through the input function. Let's try and let's find how this input function works. So the input function, it's have two form or have two ways to do that. We can give the permission for the user to input x or the input numbers. So in that sense, we should write, for example, x equal input and then the message. This message will show for the screen so the user know he should input the value now. And whatever the value that the user will give, it will be number stored in x. But if I need to promote the user to input the value, but this value should be strings, it means that it's just a text. So I can define any name for that text and then input and then the message. But after the message, I should put like the S between double quotation. It means that whatever the input will, will put, it will be string, even if, if you put a number. Let's go to MATLAB to check how it works. This MATLAB window, let's open new script file. And let's check the script and the comment window and the workspace because they are linked here. For example, if I define variable name x and I will ask the user to define x, x equal and then input and then open parentheses and then open the quotation and then write a message. For example, enter any number and then put closing this, I mean the, 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 the double quotation and the close the parentheses and then put semicolon to suppress the output and then whatever the x it will be, we can use in any operation. For example, we can say that, for example, y equal to x multiplied to 100. So we can say 100 multiplied to x. And this will be the y value. So for example, let's run the code and check. And because this is script, it will ask us where to save. So let's run. And it will ask where to save. For example, in the loot, I can write here, this is like the code. Once I saved, let's check here. So I put the message say input, and then I enter the message which say enter a number or enter any number. So the message shown here on the command window, I'd say enter any number. So and waited for me to write the number. So I should click on the command window and then put the number, for example, 20 and press enter. So 20 multiplied to 100, so the y value will be 2000. So now we understand that whatever I will input, it will be multiplied to 100. But if you check, there is no distance between 20 and my number and it could make confused. So the better is, for example, I can put space or, and then I can put also like the column and space again. And if I run the code again and then enter the number, for example, in this time 15 and press enter, so the Y it's 1500. And of course, the value for X is changing and the corresponding Y is changing based on what, once I run the code. So this is very easy and straightforward, just input and then the message you wish, and then you can use this value for any things. But sometimes you can ask, it's only the scalar. So what if, if we need to input the, for example, the vectors. So in that sense, if we need to give X as a vector, for example, I, I let me clear the code and then I need to give here a vector. So if I run the code, input any numbers. So in that sense, for example, I can say, if I need to give a vector, it should be square brackets and then define any numbers. For example, two, four, five, nine. So that's enough. Close the square brackets and then press enter. So it takes these four value and multiply it to 100. So it became 200, 400, 500, 900, etc. So it is not only that like that 
you can input the scalar no you can input the vector and also you can input the vectors as a function for example let me clear the screen again and then run a code again and then it could ask me like for example input the, the, the value and then I need to input the value as a function random function so I can, I, I can say this is random function with one row five columns and then press enter so it generated five numbers of x and then they take this five number of x multiply to 100 and this result in this value we can see but please note that sometimes if you do a mistake it could cause an error for example if suppose that the function is say y equal to 100 multiplied to x squared for example let's put x to the power 2 and then let's run the code again and then in input any number if i input 3 so it will give a value so it takes the 3 multiply to the power 2 it's 9 multiply to 100 is 900 it's okay but let's again run the code and input in this time for example the vector using the random of one rows and four columns and press enter this time there is an error do you know why the the error is because x now is a vector when we use the power it should be dot operation so we should adjust our code to have a dot operation here so in that sense if we run a code again and then input the random as one comma four and then press enter it will estimate the y value correctly because they they know the value how how is the value is so simply the input function is a function allow the user to input the value but what if if i need to write a code in which the, the user should input the value of a string so in that sense i can put here for example double quotation s and then input any text i change the message and after this message i can't use a text for operation so i can use still the x as a name no problem for that and just i i need to do something for example we can concatenate this x with hello something for example his name so input any name and then i can say for example the the concatenate text text is equal to the word hello and then space and then plus and then this x we can display that so for example run input any name for example my name salem so the message will be hello salem so we concatenate the name x he input to that x but sometimes it's not good to have the x is 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 not a defined value i can write as a name so if i write name matlab said do you need to change this variable to the new name if yes just shift enter he will change the name here and the name here so if i run again and ask me what's your name i write tacky so it would be hello tacky but what if if i input number so i i need to put the numbers for example if i just run again and then input your name i write five five like 55 and then press enter it will be this time hello 55 so it's kind of what you input it just he will treat it as a string even if you input the numbers it's no problem for that and of course if you have a like the, the numbers you can do whatever operation you wish and if you have a string you can print or do other operation using concatenation or know the lens for that whatever you wish you can do for that so simply it's just input function and with the input function you put the message for the user to read and then you need to if you need the input to be not only the number it's a vector so he can input a vector but check if there is dependent operation for that and also if you need to make that like the input that the user will 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 give kind of string you should add here like that s or refer to the string after the message you put that's all for that video thank you bye bye